Good morning. It's our letter from home. Hey, today is the day that the Lord hath made. I do love that. That idea that each day is a day that God has created to do something in our life that is special. It may not seem special to us. I'm thinking of just realizing that there are little things we can do this day that can have big consequences. We can make a difference. It may seem so small in the eyes of the world, but in the eyes of the Lord, it is ordained. It is something that is a divine appointment. And it gives that sense of real purpose and meaning to our lives that, yeah, each and every moment, there may be something special that we can do. And I say special, not that it's special in the eyes of others, but we know it's special in our heart because we're walking with the Lord and trusting in him. So make it a great day and walk it in the light. And also go to Carl's Jr. You can get, <laughs> yeah, 25% of that can be a contribution to uh to our church. So God bless you. We love you. Mwah. Hey, my church family, a couple things, guys. We are still uh, forming our men's mission to Mexico team, which is leaving on March 5th and returning on March 10th. We actually have a meeting this Sunday at 830 in room 32 on the mid middle uh, Divisor Middle School campus. I'd love to see you there. Also, Satellite is having a fellowship on the 26th, Sunday the 26th, at the bowling alley here in Visalia. And if you know of a student who wants to be plugged into a church who's not here yet, invite them. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you on Sunday. Hi, ladies. Well, it's Thursday already. I can't believe another week has gone by. I hope it's been a good week for you. Wanted to remind you that our evening study is kicking off tonight at 630 at Lucinda Hall's house. So if you are interested, you can email me or email Lucinda. We'll get you the information you need. Definitely, if you need more details and you have signed up, make sure you reach out and we'll try to get you those details before you get lost or don't know where you need to go. I want to make sure you know all those things. The book is Amos by Jennifer Rothschild. So you can pick that up through Amazon. If you haven't gotten the book yet, don't worry, you can still come. So hope to see you there and stay tuned. More fun stuff coming in the springtime. So can't wait. But in the meantime, enjoy your day. Enjoy this weekend. And I hope to see you on Sunday morning. Bye. Hi, church and high school ministry. Every Wednesday night, we still have grow groups. And every Sunday morning, we have our youth group and the choir room. So high school students, don't forget about those. Those are good, important, ongoing, consistent things that uh, we need to be in and a part of every single week. A um, few things that are coming up that you can be in prayer about uh, is Mission to Mexico. We have 38 students who are signed up and around 17 or 18 adults who are going to be leading those students down to Mexico. And so be praying for them. Our training meetings start in March. And so uh, church, you can just be praying for, for us as we begin to prepare our team for all that's going to be going on. Um, and then you can just be praying for the communities of Urafan and El Cerrillo and the Mount of Olives Children's Village uh, in the city of Urafan that we'll be staying at and serving uh, just be praying for for all that's all that's happening, all the ministry that we'll be doing, but then also all the work that's going to be that the Lord's just going to be doing in our own hearts, uh, as you know as well as I do. That um, when you go to serve and to give uh, at, at a place that really, in so many ways, the Lord works in your own heart, and the Lord does a great work in you, and you grow uh, through it. And so, be praying for our students, not only that they would be able to do great things. Uh, for for the the Lord and for the kingdom in Mexico, but just that the that the Lord would be working in their own hearts and be growing them and shaping them more into His image. And so, uh, just some great things that are going on, great things coming up. Be praying, be praying for all of it. We love you, Church. Thank you. God bless you. Hi, Church family. Well, during this transition period, it is quite an adventure. So, update for junior high is that for the next two months, we are actually changing our location. So since summer, we've been at different homes with barbecues and pool parties. And in the fall, we've been at the Camarillo's home. But now we're heading back to the Boys and Girls Club, which we did last year. And it's a big, spacious gym and lots of room for junior hires to, well, do junior high things, play games, 
it's going to be a really great time for the next couple of months to get us through the winter, the darkness, all that, before the weather becomes nice, where we can go outdoors. And of course, we're praying and hoping to enter into our, our new ministry center this year. So that's what we're doing in junior high. It's going to be a super fun time uh, for the next couple of months at the Boys and Girls Club. Just keep us in your prayers. Thank you. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week so far. We had a great weekend away with our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, and it was just a great time to see the kids challenged of being not of this world. Um, and it was great to see what the Lord was doing in their hearts. They had a fun time. We did a lot of zip lines and we did crafts and we had fun playing games. And so we're just looking forward to how they're going to be challenged from that weekend and into the future. So be praying for them. Um, also, I've had a lot of parents ask what is VBS look like this year. I'm just going to put you put the dates out there. VBS is going to be June 19 through 23, so mark it on your calendar and you'll have more information to come later. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Hi Grace Community Church. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a great week enjoying some pre-spring weather. We've got a lot going on. The building is coming up so quickly. If you've driven by recently, you're seeing that they are wrapping it and pretty soon We'll have an indoor environment and, and we'll be ready to start doing the interior work. So for those of you, we've had a few people reach out about pulling wire and doing some other things in the worship center and in the building itself. Uh, rest assured that we will contact you when the time comes. We're still waiting on a few of the trades to get some of their things finished. And then it will be our turn to get in there and get that done. So we appreciate your help and we're looking forward to doing that together. Also, I wanted to let you know to put the Family Mission to Mexico outreach on your calendar. It is June 24th through July 1st this year, and we will have an informational meeting if you are interested in this outreach for your family. March 26th, which is a Sunday, it will be at Amigos on Acres from 1230 to 2, and you would have the opportunity at that point to order yourself and your family some lunch. Um, I would encourage you to attend this if you are at all interested or have any questions. Attending this meeting does not obligate you in any way to attend the outreach, but it would be a great opportunity for you to get some more information about the, the outreach in general, about what we do in Mexico when we are at the Mount of Olives, about how we get there, about the passport situation, anything that you might have questions about so that you can make a decision for you and your family. Um, I would encourage you to attend that meeting. Again, it's March 26th at Amigos at 12.30, and I hope to see you there. We'll see you on Sunday. Hey, good Thursday morning. There is a lot going on in relation to the Ministry Center. I have a whole list, so I'm going to go through it relatively quickly. But before I get to that, let me tell you that on March 12th, um, we are going to begin a new series of Inquirers class. Uh, if you are interested in learning about the church or maybe becoming a member of the church. This class is for you. Um, you will see information in the bulletin this week on how to um, let me know that you're going to be at that class. And um, so please look out for that. I'd love to have you join us. Now, in relation to the Ministry Center, also on March 12th, on that evening, we are going to have a Ministry Center all-church meeting. Uh, Larry Pruitt mentioned this at the annual meeting, that we were going to have a meeting uh, dedicated to, you know, the ministry center, construction, all of that. We're going to try to update you with all the current information, numbers, things like that, and have a time for questions. So that's at 6 o'clock on March the 12th at Divisadero. Bring your chairs and be there. We anticipate that meeting being about an hour. Now, to the, to the ministry center, there's a lot going on. I told you last week, but I'll mention it again in case you didn't see it. There's fencing, uh, it's kind of security fencing now around the building. Uh, you're going to see, if you drive by, you'll see there's scaffolding around the building now, and that's because they're starting to wrap the building with form, 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 foam board um, and basically enclosing the building, getting ready for stucco. And that actually should be completed by this week. It's it's going very quickly. Um, standards for the light poles have been poured this week. You can see those out um, in the front of the worship center. Uh, the stages for the high school and junior high rooms are completed. They're still pulling lots of wire for technology. Um, we're really working. We have a team of people working on security type issues in relation to new laws for um, around being protecting and for child care 
child um, uh, caring for our children, our children's department, so we're paying attention to that. Um, landscaping plans are underway now. And then I would, in, I would tell you there's a lot to pray about, but um, would remind you that we're, we've been praying about the air conditioning handlers that um, are supposed to be delivered in March. We're praying that that's the case. And if you drive by the building on the south end of the building, you will see, I think it is three openings, like window type openings towards the top of the worship center. That's where those air conditioning handlers go. So um, if you see that, you'll know what those are. And then we're also praying for the electrical panel that um, needs to come in. It's scheduled to come in in June. We're praying that it's at least on time or that the Lord might um, be gracious and give it to us sooner because those two things can really hold us up. So be praying about that. There's a lot going on. Uh, the series in First John has been great. Hope to see you on Sunday. God bless you all.